Today, I'm getting Mohamed Salah ready for the season, but his current ability is set to one out of 200. We have four weeks of pre-season to get Salah ready, with games starting off easy, but getting harder and harder. Any goals, assists, wins and man of the match performances that we get over the course of pre-season gives us points that we can use to upgrade Salah. So our first game is against Irish side St. Pat's Athletic. Bro, this guy is just so slow. The thing is, we need to get Salah to the maximum current ability because our final game is against Manchester City and his big rival, Erling Haaland. For the ultimate prize in football, the Community Shield. Things started well for Liverpool, with Thiago opening up the scoring inside five minutes before Salah played a part in the second goal. Annoyingly, he's not got the direct assist or goal, so that's no points. No one was able to find a ball to the wide open Salah, but Gakpo didn't need to pass. Oh my god, he's free in the middle. Free in the middle, just someone cut it back to him, please, as Thiago, Gakpo, Salah's now offside and Gakpo scores anyway. And once again, Salah was in the right place, but couldn't get on the end of the ball as Gekpo got his hat trick. We just need the ball delivered into Salah's feet right now, don't we? That's penalty. Penalty, and Salah is going to be on this. This is the chance that we need. Please do not mess this up, Mohamed. Oh, we got so lucky there. That was a terrible penalty. And it seemed to give Salah some confidence. His shot blocked just a few moments later. But the second half was an absolute snooze fest. With neither side scoring, we won the game 5-0, Salah netting 55 points. We put 15 each into his pace and acceleration, as well as 10 into composure and 5 into key technicals, bringing up his current ability to a grand total of 1. How on earth has that just not changed at all? Our next match was against League 2 Bradford City, but I wanted to make some tactical tweaks. I think Nunez needs to be an inverted winger on support to try and supply Salah, and I think Salah needs to shoot more often. I also told our other attackers to shoot less often, hoping they pass to Salah more. Getting points early for Salah is going to be really important to improve him, so I'm going to activate our double win bonus for this game. Although, with the chances we were missing, it seemed like the players didn't want to win. Salah had a chance fall to him from a corner, but he couldn't bury it. But luckily, we took the lead from another corner and the massive forehead of Virgil van Dijk. Jota on the ball, advancing forward with Darwin and Salah through the middle. Salah shoots. Oh my word, Salah's just scored an absolute banger. No. What? How is that an own goal? I'm sorry, but that didn't even touch the guy. Like, where does it touch him here? It just doesn't. I'm having that as a goal for Salah and a bug in the game. This was certainly a case of Haaland getting worried about Salah's improvement, and he'd clearly paid off the refs to not award Salah the goal. But after that, the floodgates opened, with Van Dijk grabbing his second of the game before Gakpo made it 4-0, ensuring Salah picked up another 80 points for the goal and double points for the win. So I added five points to each of his unimproved highlighted attributes, and an extra 10 to finishing, dribbling, and first touch, and then I maxed out his pace, taking his current ability up to 54. I mean, I guess this makes him 54 times better than he was before. But Haaland had just scored two goals for Man City, so we needed Salah to bag in the next game against Scottish Championship side Dundee. I'm feeling good about this game. I think Salah's going to have some decent opportunities here. With 20 pace, he's going to be able to beat any defender, and with finishing and first touch and dribbling right up there as well, I think it's going to contribute to a really decent Salah. As Yotta finds him... At least Nunez can score from a corner. Gakpo finds that ball through to Salah, and this time, he isn't going to miss. Salah was now way more confident on the ball, and was getting so many more chances. But it was Darwin Nunez and Cody Gakpo who were scoring the goals. Mohamed, what are you doing? Why are you stood so far offside? But eventually, another ball was sent over to our pace merchant to grab his second of the game. Come on, fella, do that little dance. But then Dundee, against the odds, pulled one back meaning we went into the break winning 6-1. With Salah in form, there was a chance for him to get his hat trick. Oh, was that offside? I think that might have just been offside. Oh yeah, it's just, just offside. But the rest of the second half was a snooze fest. The game finished 6-1 and Salah picked up 85 points. 
putting 60 of them into his mental attributes and 25 into technicals and physicals, improving his current ability to 97. We are basically halfway there now, but our matches were only going to get harder and harder, as next up we face championship side Middlesbrough. Despite this, I was feeling confident, so I decided to use our double points bonus for goals. Henderson with the ball over the top to Salah, that is the perfect start to the game. Oh my word, beautiful. Oh, it doesn't count. Oh, that's, oh, it's so annoying. And to compound our misery even more, Middlesbrough scored, and then cleared a Nunes shot off the line. We then hit the crossbar from a corner, and it felt like everything was against us. I think Salah could be offside as well, again. I, I genuinely think he's offside. Yeah, actually quite a bit offside, to be fair, that time. With our backs against the walls, we needed a big second half, which was started off by Trent. Salah had another chance, but the defender got back in the nick of time, but they couldn't stop him for long. Oh, he scored a header! He's got one jumping reach and one heading, but he somehow scored a header! Yotta then added a third right at death. Another day, if he timed his runs a bit better, that's a hat-trick for Salah and a huge points haul, especially with the double points bonus that we put in. But you know what? We'll take the 60 points for the goals and the 25 for the win. I improved all of the technicals and physicals that I thought Salah needed to 15 out of 20, bringing Salah up to 123 current ability. I also heard if you subscribe to the channel and like the video, you also get a massive boost to your attributes. Next up was Belgian side Anderlecht who couldn't last five minutes against our improved Salah. Gakpo, ball over the top to Diogo Yota. Can he cut it back into Salah? It's a penalty, come on! Up steps Salah, and again, it's a really weird penalty, but he's managed to score it at least. Then there was a very questionable penalty given to us. What, another penalty? Well, he scored it at least, which is pretty good. The keeper went the right way, but still it went in. But that's his hat trick. What a start for Salah. It looked like Salah was about to get his fourth goal of the game before Nunez arrived out of nowhere to score instead, and then we got another goal after that. And let them grab one of their own just before Gakpo got us a sixth, meaning we had a second game with a 6-1 scoreline at half time. The second half started with a bang as Salah grabbed his fourth goal of the game. This pushed his match rating up to a 10 out of 10, almost guaranteeing him man of the match. But Yotta scored another goal, upping his rating, meaning that there was a real battle between Yotta, Nunez and Salah for man of the match. So what I'll do is sub Yotta and I will sub Nunez off so they can't score any more goals. Maybe that wasn't a wise choice as Anderlecht immediately scored a goal and then got another one. But luckily, we still had a five goal lead by full time. Okay, that is what you call an exciting game. But with four goals, man of the match and the win bonus, Salah had 195 points, which I used to max out his physicals and add 10 to all unimproved mentals and max out the improved technicals and then add 10 to tackling and marking penalties to give Salah a current ability of 200 out of 200. The man has done it. He's got all the way to the maximum current ability. And we got there before we'd even played Salzburg and Monaco. Not that he needs any more improvement but he scored a hat-trick in a 3-1 win over Red Bull Salzburg. But then he went on to go blank against Monaco, not getting a single goal or assist in the win. But the 190 points he got from those games was enough to almost max him out in every attribute. And so it finally came down to the final match against Man City and Erling Haaland for the greatest prize in football, the Community Shield. Man City with the first chance of the game then as they play into their back line with Ruben Diaz. Gundogan tackled. Darwin Nunez on the counter attack then brings it over halfway to Gakpo. Gakpo finds a ball through to Salah. Salah! Oh, I can't score the opening goal. Salah's free kick. Oh, just wide. Trent with the ball out wide into Henderson. Henderson can't get past his man, has to turn away, find an inside ball, but it's been intercepted. And Rodrigo brings it forwards. Phil Foden is completely through and open. Luckily, Alisson makes the save. Trent Alexander-Arnold in the middle. Salah rises highest and scores the opening goal of the game. You never see that. It's another corner. Salah's got one from a corner already. This time, Van Dijk gets it and we're 2-0 up. Haaland is literally nowhere to be seen in this match. Wait, actually quite literally nowhere to be seen in this match. He's not starting for them. How is Pep putting this man on the bench? Another chance for Trent to cross it in the middle. Oh, and that's a wonderful header from Salah. Good first half though, pretty happy with that. 
Henderson swings the ball over to Darwin Nunez, heads it across the area. Salah's got the goal. It's a hat trick for Mohamed. Oh, this is like taking candy from a baby. It's so unfair, this game. I mean, I don't want to say this is one-sided, but we've barely seen a highlight for Man City. And is Salah about to get another goal? <gasps> a defensive mix-up at the back is just compounded by a Salah absolute weird shot. Cody Gakpo now injured. That's not ideal. Uh, we'll bring Bobby on for him instead. But, I mean, we are winning 4-0. Oh, a chance for Man City right at the end. They brought uh, Julian Alvarez on, but I don't think Haaland's actually on the pitch as De Bruyne has got a goal in the 88th minute. They think it's all over. It is now. We've done it. We've actually won the biggest prize in football and we got Salah from zero overall to 200. And as we lift the trophy, if you want to see me do this video but with Erling Haaland instead, that's on the screen for you right now.